Yes, bro. Your name and where you're calling from. Uh, actually, I'm calling from Helsinki in Finland. Okay. How may I help you? Well, I'm a Muslim, but uh, sometimes I wonder why. I... Sorry, my English is not so much good, but I hope you can understand each other. I can understand you. You are from Senegal or Gambia? Uh, well, I'm from Senegal. Okay, okay. Yeah, I can see from the accent. Yeah, but yeah. I, have, I have been to Gambia, so that's why I can speak uh, English like this. Uh-huh, okay. I Your name is been Usman. To school. Yeah, Your I'm, name is Usman. I'm, I'm Usman, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, the question I want to ask you know, do you think uh, the gods that we worship... I'm a Muslim, but don't judge by my... my I'm just asking, you know, it's just asking. No, I want to understand your question. You haven't, you haven't asked me okay, the question. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you think, you know, the God that we are worshipping is the same God who brought us to, in this world? Without do, do our knowledge, we don't know anything. He's the one who brings us in this world. And he, he knows that when he brings us in this world, we will, not, we will disobey him. After... Do you think that God will, will, will take us to a, a hellfire or something like that? Because I did not ask God to bring me in this world. He's the one who bring, bring me. Later, I disobey him. Then, then the, and, and he already knows that I will disobey him. Later, he go and put me in hellfire, you know. How do you see that, you know? Okay. I was, I was, I was really wondering why, why God will do that. Because okay. he, bring, he brought me to this world and I don't know. And he knows that when he brings me here, I will disobey him. So do you want to say that the gods bring us here for us to come here later, he will go and put us in hellfire? Because in Quran, if anybody disobey gods, you are going to hellfire. And before God bring you in this world, he knows that when I bring this person in the world, he will disobey. So I want you to clear that for me, you know, because I can see that you have, you have knowledge, you know. Yeah, thank you, brother. Okay, so now I'm going to answer your question. Okay. Now, first of all, in order for people to speak about God, we need to know about God first, and we need to know what he has instructed and what he told you about him. You know, it's just like me sitting here, the correctional officer. You, you Usman, cannot know about me unless I explain to you who I am and what I'm doing. Then you can use what I'm doing to ask me questions. So in order to question God, you need to understand the things he has told you first before you can question him. But because, first of all, you started with your question and saying the God we worship. You and who? I don't know which God you are worshipping. Because people have formed false gods. So in the first place, I don't know which God you, you say we are worshipping. And then again, I, you say... Said... I'm a Muslim. I'm a Muslim. I'm worshipping the, 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 the gods that Muslims are worshipping. Oh no, if you if you claim, if you say the word and you say you are a Muslim, doesn't actually make you a Muslim. Saying you are a Muslim is different from the God you are talking about. Look, we have sectarians like the Sunni, Shia, Tijaniya, Ahmadiyya, they are all claiming they are Muslims. But the God they describe in their books is not the real God. They have Hadith books, they describe God. They say God has a leg, he put it on this. They say God does this. He... No, that's not God. Do you, do you understand me? Well, me, I'm now referring to the God who brought me into this world, you know. Good. So now let's speak about the God. First of all, okay. he told you in Quran chapter 76, and then he told you in verse 1 to verse, let's say verse 5. He says, has it occurred to the human being at a period of time he was nothing to be mentioned? Do you know at some point in your life, you were not part of history? Nobody was mentioning your name. You didn't exist. You know that, right? Usman, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. Uh -huh. so, so don't mute your mic. I just want you to be quiet. But if uh, I ask a question, you can answer. Okay. Uh -huh. So okay, God okay. says, indeed, we created a human being from sperm gem cells. Do you agree you were born from sperm? Of course. Okay, then he says, in order to test him, he created you in order to test you. He didn't just create you and say, I want Usman to live a happy life and live just to what he wants. No. He created you in order to test you. To test me? Yes. Yes. When he already knows that, you know, 
when I created Usman and brought him into the wall, when I test him, he's going to fail. Later, I will take him to hellfire. But do you understand how that, Usman, do you understand how that the word test works? Test. When you go to school, you, you know, say you, are, you have never been to school, right? Of course, you know, I have never been. Okay, you will but have I understood. Know the word, the, yeah, no, I wait, know the word wait. test. Like, you will have you will like have understood you know, to, to see to see somebody's fate, you know. No, no, wait, wait. Test. No, wait, wait. When we say test, okay. if you have been okay. to school academically, if you are in the classroom, the teacher sometimes tests the students. Sometimes the teacher knows the smart students. They know the best ones, they know whoever is not good. Teachers know in the classroom, they know. But they will still put a test across just to to, to let you, the student, see your weakness and your strength. So they build you psychologically in order to be prepared. So the God who created you, okay. he already knows some of us are bad and some are good. So what he did is, he says he's going to test you. But however, he, for his will, he wanted you to go be a good person. But the human being is stubborn. By nature, we are stubborn. But he knows not everyone will disobey him. Okay. Listen carefully. He knows that. So same way, if a teacher gives students a, a, a test in the classroom, the teacher knows not everybody will pass the test. Do you know that? Yes. Good. But do you know yes, why the still, still the teacher will give the test? No, I don't know. Okay, so let's see the verse. I'm going to show you the example. Okay. Chapter 76, verse 2. Indeed, we created the human being from sperm gem cells to test him. So we granted him hearing and seeing. Listen carefully. Indeed, we led him to the way. Either he is grateful or ungrateful. So he has given you the free will now. He created you to test you. Then out of the test, he gave you free will. It's either you decide to be grateful or ungrateful. Do you see? Then apart from that, in Quran chapter 67, verse 2, he is going to tell you out of the, cre the, uh, the creation he created you to test you. He told you, the one who created life and death in order to test you as to which of you is best indeed. Indeed, meaning the, the deeds he asks us to do, which one will be best. Just like when a teacher tests you in the classroom, they want to see who will pass, who will get first, and who will be last. Okay. Do you get a point? Yeah, now. Yeah. Then now God says, and he is the almighty, the forgiving. Now, why do you think he's using this signature to end the statement? He is the almighty, the forgiving. He is testing you, the servants, so that you will know your levels. You will know whether you are, you are a good servant, you know. Your bad servant, you know. Your level is high, you know. Your level is down, you know. So that you will get the conviction of who you are. So Quran chapter 29. Okay. Quran chapter 29. I hope you are following what I'm saying. I'm, I'm hearing, I'm hearing. Okay. Quran chapter 29 verse 2. He says, do people think that we will be, they will be left to say we have believed and they will not be tested? Do you think like that? And God says, for we have certainly tested those before them. Those who came before you, God tested them. And God will expose those who are truthful and will expose the lies. Okay, you but, but you know, uh, when 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 God, God, God Himself tells Satan that you know, unless those who I I I I don't I, ha I don't have mercy on them, you can only deceive those people. So that yeah. means God Himself, before He created or He created these people, like uh, He created uh, like you know, these people they are going to hell, and these people they are going to heaven. Uh, he didn't say what you said. I say before, you know, God, God tells Satan that you know, unless the people, I don't have mercy on them. You can. Where, you did, can, he, where did he say that? You can. Where, where did he say because that? Because I'm, I'm a Muslim, but I have not been to a, a Quran school or something. But they have Usman. been teaching me this for for long time. Usman. Okay. Usman, I didn't mm -hmm. say. Where did God yeah, yeah. say those who are, He has mercy on them? Where did He say that? No, I've, okay. Now, can you explain the 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 day? Uh, Satan and God, because Satan told God that you know I'm going to mislead all, your, all your people because Satan dis, dis, uh, disobey God. You no, know? Osman. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you talking based on your assumption 
or are you talking on based on what you know? No, I have. They have been. They have been. Teach, they teach me this. You know, they teach me this. Since, did they, since did they give small. you? Did they give you proof? No, they did not give me any proof. Okay, so if you but, come to the correctional but, officer, but in, every Muslim should know that. You know, every I, I believe that every Muslim should know that. The the day, say, Allah created uh, uh, Adam. So he asked Satan to. I don't know how, how can I say this in English. So the Satan refused to 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 bow down his knee on uh, to for, for. Uh, Osman. The reason between Satan and, and, and Allah. The reason. Can you explain? Osman. Osman. Mm -hmm. God did not create Satan. Yes, I'm he getting there. I'm getting there. Are you listening? Are, are you listening well? Yeah. But Iblis and Satan, they are all the same. Of course. Let's listen to the English, uh, Usman. He didn't create Satan. He created mm -hmm. Iblis. His name is Iblis. The one he created. The, his name is Iblis. Are you listening? So, so Iblis, you mean Satan also is there? It's, it's, it's two different, you know. Satan and Iblis is two. What? Because me, I believe that you know, uh, uh, Satan and Iblis, they are all the same, you know. But Usman, are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. It is, it is Iblis who later on became Satan. When we say Satan, do you know the meaning of Satan? The word Satan, do you know the meaning? No, I don't know. I don't know. It means the devil is defining, it is the definition of a character, something you do that defines you. That's why we call shaitan. Are you listening? Okay. So even among the human beings, we have shayateen among human beings. Some are devils. Quran chapter yes. 6 verse 112. Mm -hmm. some, some people are devils. And among the jinns, we have devils. So he believes he decided to have a devilish mindset. That's why he's called Shaitan. He's the leader of the devils. Mm -hmm. Are you are you with me? So God yes, didn't create him. Listen, God didn't create him as a devil. God created him as he believes, but he gave him free will. The free will yeah. he gave you, then he decided to choose to become a devil. Mm, okay. Now the problem uh, I want you to explain between him and God. What what's happened between him and God? That's what I want to know. No, no, no. no look, I cannot devote all my time to explain A to Z. It is the problems you have. You ask me, then I can give you the answer. But I'm not here to do that topic. It is a full topic. For so me, what they, they you know, told, Usman you told me that you know it, it is because of Adam. The God created Adam. Mm -hmm. God created the I'm, human. I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Because he created uh, for a... me, they told me that. God created the human beings and the genes to serve him. To, that is, worship him to serve him. That's why God created the human beings and the genes. And Iblis decided not to do that. So he became a devil. He became a shaitan. He decided not to serve God. So he's ungrateful to God. So you, you, you mean... So you mean uh, Iblis did not tell any any words to God that he will mislead every each and everyone? He he said because that. Because I have but been hearing this now. They told me that you know. Uh, that is Iblis that is why I'm helping you know, Usman. Mislead every everyone. Usman, mm -hmm. that's why I'm helping you, so that you understand how to ask a question. If you don't, if you are not specific with your questions, we will keep going like this. We go left, we go right. You'll be confused. The things they've told you yeah. that you have in doubt, that is the ones you have to use to ask me a question. Then I can uh, break okay. it and explain. Do you, do you understand my point? You should be asking me yeah, questions. For example. Let me give you an example. For example, you should ask me a question like, did Iblis say he will mislead the people? Then I will say yes. Then I will give you the proof. You ask me, did God say he will have mercy on some people that the devil will not touch them? No, he didn't say it like that. He only said he's sincere servant. Those who are sincerely devoted to God, the devil cannot mislead them. Because meaning... Yeah, they now, now I'm getting you. Exactly. So you, what doubts me there, you know, how can God say it stands and Iblis also say that word stands? I don't understand that, you know. 
and God, yeah. God have power to, to, to save everyone, you know. So uh, if it's if very, God it's very confusing, everyone, to be frank, bro. Usman, if God mm-hmm. saved everyone, well, then what is the need of us being on earth to be tested again? What is the need of the test again? But the first test. of all, when, when God created Adam, he did not bring him to the to this world. He, he was Adam was in, in He was Adam created was. on earth. He was created on earth. He wasn't created in heaven. So that one you so you deny that one? Oh. You are asking me if I deny. I should be asking you where is the knowledge? Where did you have that proof he was created in heaven? Can you give me a verse where he says he was created in heaven? What uh, I have, they have been teaching me since I was young that you know Satan was uh, Adam was created in heaven. Osman. For the reason for reason for God to bring him in this world, it is because of Osman. his disobey gods. Osman. Satan deceived him in, in the in the in the in the garden of Eden. Osman, so, Osman. Uh-huh, Osman. Uh-huh. Okay. He wasn't created in heaven. So you mean that one people they are they are deceiving us that? Yes, they lie to you. Mm, okay. Yeah, sorry to tell you that, but they they lie to you. This is the bitter truth. It's a lie. And if you say it is like that, then you prove to me where he says he decreted him in heaven. No, I, I mean, because you are you you have more knowledge than me. You know? I'm I'm just I'm just asking because I'm also a Muslim. So, but sometimes something's uh, so there is something in this in this. Uh, in this Muslims, I don't understand. So I need to ask, you know. Uh, I advise you, Usman, anything okay. you're trying to learn, always get mm-hmm. a pen and a paper. When you ask questions, find the answer. Ask for the reference. You write it down. You go and ask. You go and ch- check more. That's how to study. That's how to learn. Don't just ask questions and then listen and go. No, you forget it. And that means you don't take your salvation seriously. And I, I like that. I'd like the point that you even understand and speak English, even though you say you are not that educated. But I like the point you can understand the conversation we are having. <laughs> but however, I'm a person who likes to help people to understand what what the verses of God well, say. I, I'm, I'm following. I was following you a long time ago because uh-huh. that's good. Yeah. That's good. So I do help people so that they can understand the verses. And I try my best not to allow people to use their opinions or neither should I use my opinion. We should let God tell us what he wants, not what we want. Yeah. Sometimes we assume things. It doesn't mean we know. We just assume. Just like you coming here, you use your assumption to say, why will God create us and then put us to hell? He knows how to do this. He knows how to do that. No, that is not what God says like that. But people twist it because they don't have the knowledge. So they use their assumption. To say, oh, why will God create me to bend me? No, He didn't just create me. Frank, I don't, like for me, I did, I did not believe that the the God, the God who created and brought us in this world, you know, will turn against us to and take us to hellfire, you know. No, God for is me, not. I, I was thinking, I was, I was always thinking that, you know, why, why would God do that? Because they say they Usman. don't have mercy. Usman, okay? Usman, uh-huh. Usman. Yeah, I'm hearing you. Quran chapter ten uh-huh, verse forty four. Uh-huh. Quran chapter 10, verse 44, yes. God says, indeed, God does not wrong the people at all, but the people are the ones wronging themselves. Do you know why? Mm-hmm. Usman, you are, you are based in Finland, right? Yeah. If you are following the laws of Finland, will the police do anything to you? No. What if you go against their laws? What? What if you go against the laws of Finland? What do you think will happen? What do you think will happen? Of course, they will, they will treat me according to their law. They will... So that, does it mean they are unfair, unjust when they deal with you? No, of course, you know. So, that so that, mean they are not fair or something. But that is the one, point. You know... so, wait, that is the point. So you need to understand God as well. God has already stated the criteria of everything in his books. You just need to study and know what he says before you judge. You can't just get up and say, some scholar told you this, so you use what the scholar said in to the, judge. In this case, in this case, it's God who brought me into this world, you know. I did not have any knowledge, I, and I did not ask God to bring me in this world. Okay. It's, it's God okay. who brought me 
in the this world, you know. I do not have any knowledge. I, I, I don't have any knowledge about drink for me to be in, in to me to be in this world, you know. So Usman. why will he turn and take me Usman. to hellfire, you know? Usman. Uh -huh. Usman. Do you have kids? Usman, do you have kids? No, I don't have have any kid i don't have any kid when you give birth to a kid no no yeah assuming if you give birth to a kid did the, did the kid ask you to bring them to the world okay i've given you enough time i think i think it's okay let's give other people chance to come okay yeah okay 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 bro maybe yeah, next time we will, we will yeah 